Hi all, Darren Hansbro from DA Components. This week's video is to talk about pump boxes, and this is going to be a two-part video, and we're going to be doing part one today, and we're going to talk about how I did one 10 years ago. This is the actual pump box many years ago. I actually made this. I just dragged it out the back of the shed, and it had an on-off switch here, and it had push-fit connections here for the inlet, or it might have been the outlet. Then on the other side, there was another outlet. This was a charge outlet. That charge outlet there was the same as not. Believe it as Gander's backpack. <laughs> and on the top, I have a speed controller. This is the battery voltage indicator, and I have a panel fuse holder. So what you will see is a big gaping cut out here. Basically, what that was, just for my mind, was working there. 10 years ago is a scroll and display selling your services just a quick video to check see if everything's okay just got me voltage meter so when you're at work this was actually mounted on a trolley and how I mounted it on the trolley was four bolts at the back and I put a plate on an old trolley and I cut it out like a picture frame. So what I did is I actually just lifted it off and brought this box in to put it on charge instead of bringing the trolley in. So that's my pump box that I had 10 years ago. And look at the inside, how it all changed from now to the modern day. So, let's talk about pump boxes. So, a very good friend of mine, Andy, uh, actually got this pump box, this toolbox from, uh, I think it was Tool Station or Screw Fix, doesn't really matter. And I quite liked the robust of it as well, because it's like one of them stackable ones. And what got me was the actual handle. As the handle clicks into place, and the handle was really robust. And I just thought, that could be an ideal project for me. So let's talk about what I'm going to do. So I've got all my parts that I'm going to use, and this is what I'm going to do inside this pump box. So what you'll see here is a 12-volt leisure battery. It's 70 amperage hours. I think if this pump box is only going to get used every now and then, that's going to be more than ample. I do recommend 85 amperage hours. If you're using it for an everyday use. So, battery terminals. I always recommend battery terminals. It's a personal choice and I think it's a good all rounder because I sit in the fence with crocodile clips. So, obviously, with battery terminals, you need to use ring connectors with the actual screw that goes over there and you screw that tight. And to get the ring connector onto the cable, you use a ratchet tool and those are all color coded too as well and you get them from Alfred's I did a video on that so that'll be a good one so that's my battery and that's my battery terminals and then I'm going to use a window cleaning pump it's not a backpack pump because this is a standard window cleaning pump 5.5 liters per minute and I'm going to mount that on the inside of this box here might need my Dremel or a multi-tool to cut a bit of this plastic out so I can mount that flat there because then I'll, I can bring my cable out, my pipe come out of here and then I can use a standard hose lock connection and that could be there. If I don't want to use that one, I could use a tap one which I think is better. You turn the water off, unclip it and away you go. That's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to mount the pump on the side inlet there and I'm going to take the outlet out the back. So that's the pump bit sorted. So then we always recommend a controller. Now I've seen controllers mounted on the front, on the top, on the sides, which is all great, you know. But personally I like to keep these inside like so, so I'm going to work it out where to fit that. If you do have one on the outside, just run some electrician's tape on the edge just for added protection. So that's what I'm going to do to this pump box, pump box 
projects. Be ready for part two. Darren from DA Components.